Nine and Nine has puppy dogs, skiing birds and fashion blogs. Start at nine, go down to one. Oh, Mickey, you're having fun. <laughs> All right, let's start with number nine today. Having trouble falling asleep? Get yourself a, a doodow. Sure. It's a fun little device you can put on your nightstand. It's essentially a metronome with a lighting system that helps you breathe in and out. Just turn it on, let the light be your guide. All you have to do is time your breathing so that you inhale as it expands and exhale as you retract. Huh. Mm. A doodow is 59 bucks. Wow. I will call you personally for $39 <laughs> and tell you yeah. when to inhale and exhale. So all Larry, it does is provide the light to tell you when to breathe? Yeah. It's Larry just, has walked me through many a breathing <laughs> exercise yeah. before, let me tell you. I right need your bed. bud. Yeah. It puts me right to sleep. Uh -huh. What a good friend. Number eight, if you forget your quarter at Aldi, that's okay. There's a hack for that. Ask any Aldi's employee to borrow one and they'll give it to you so you can shop. Also, according to all these employees, the best day to shop is Wednesday. That's when new products are released and produce goes on sale. If you don't know, to get a cart at Aldi, you need to have a quarter. Mm. Mm. That's what they're talking about there. Yeah. All right, number seven. Uh, do kids even care about pencil cases anymore? We're not Ooh. sure. Yeah, so much schoolwork is done on laptops nowadays, but just in case, we found a lot of cute options for you. Aww. Colorful zip-up styles, whimsical monster faces, Soft, fuzzy styles, personalized, poppets, Larry. Oh, that's Ooh. all the rage right oh, now. Yeah, Those that, did you see that? Poppets? It's like little rubber circles that pop in and out. Oh, yeah. oh that sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, it's all the rage. All the oh, kids yeah. have. You have a keychain poppet, you have a bigger poppet yeah. you can keep at your desk, and then yeah. an even bigger poppet that you can carry around with you on vacation. Hmm. Wow. There's so many. Oh, endless fun. When's your birthday, Pat? Like anybody around here knows. <laughs> We still have no clue. Number six, a little this day in baseball history uh, for you. On August 4th, 1982, Joe Youngblood became the only player ever to get hits for two different teams in two different cities on the same day. Playing a day game for the Mets against the Cubs at Wrigley. He played center field, drove in the winning run in the third inning of a 7-4 win. Uh, he was on deck in the next inning when he was called back into the dugout and told he'd been traded to the Montreal Expos and the Expos wanted him to play that night in Philly. So, wow. he said goodbye mm -hmm. to his Mets teammates, uh, left the hotel, got, got on his way to O'Hare. Youngblood realized that he left his glove at the ballpark, oh. so he had to go back to Wrigley. No. He got a six o'clock flight, got to Philly in time to enter the lineup in the sixth inning as a pinch hitter, faced another Hall of Famer and pitcher Steve Carlton and got another hit in another city for another team, wow. and no one has done that since. Wow. Ooh. That's crazy. That is great. Yeah. Now they'd and be like. It would never happen today. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple days right. to just sure. acclimate to the new surroundings. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, number five, do you remember hype around the stock trading platform Robinhood? At the height of the pandemic, it became hugely popular among people who usually don't get involved in stock trading. The pandemic was actually great for them. People were stuck at home, had a basic familiarity with tech devices, and many had a little bit of money to play with. Last year, they had an initial stock price of $38 and a valuation of $32 billion. But in trading this morning, it's going for less than $11. Revenue is down 44%. And they're now laying off 25% of the staff. Mm -hmm. On top of that, Robinhood's crypto division has been hit with a $30 million fine by regulators for not taking the proper security measure for its crypto exchange. Uh -huh. So right. things not going well for them. Mm -hmm. Two. Number four, Bama Rush season is quickly approaching. That is when thousands of videos appear on TikTok with college students sharing their outfits of the day during rush week. Have you guys seen these? No. No. Hi, I'm Sarah from Alabama, uh. and I'm wearing the 
this dress by this? You oh guys haven't seen God, these showing no. up? Okay, so they get millions of hits. Some of the top brands and trans to look out for this year, guys. Monogrammed totes from Amazon, jewelry from Kendra Scott, shirts and skorts from Lululemon or Lily Pulitzer. They have tassel drop earrings from Sheen, platform wedges from Steve Mannon, just are, to name a few. Why are we giving away the free commercials? <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll play some of the clips of these uh, Hi, young women doing it I'm tomorrow. Larry Potash, and I'm wearing a we leather jacket from Backstory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you number should get on that trend. <laughs> number three, uh, maybe the ladies can weigh in on this one, but I, for one, am definitely saying yes uh. to this cargo pants trend. And I'm not the only one. Dua Lipe, uh, Emrata, em Kim K. Anyone who's cool is wearing them, right? They're not just for, you know, people make this assumption that they're just for dorky dads anymore. They're not. <laughs> they're for all the people who are so OP on point. Yeah. Who, I mean, who doesn't want giant pockets? I got so, a pair. There's so many things in there. You're fashionable, more. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, I got some. I don't think I can pull that off. It's nice to have a place to put a hammer, though. A hammer? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you putting cargo pants? I don't know. What are they for? Uh, number two, Morgan, you're up. Sure, here's a look at how a box of matchsticks is made. Check it out. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker. How long ago was this video shot? What is this? Oh, matches. Oh, those are the sticks. Yeah, yeah stick matches. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the bed. You bring the groom, slender and pale. So that's the igniter? Uh, oh, the good old days when you could light a fire indoors in a bowling alley. Yeah, smoke on an airplane. Yeah. Light some paper on fire and stick yeah. it in your face. <laughs> it's worse huh. than the hammer idea on the pocket, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> a little concerned. Number one, here's a TV news promo that is hard to top. It comes from KMSP Fox 9 in Minneapolis. Oh. They are so much more. Follow me now, Ooh. come along. Lots to see, it won't take long. We have so much more. Oh, good Information. God. Activation. Hibernation. <laughs> Aviation. We are dreamers and believers here. Take it from our engineers. Up here. <laughs> from reporters who've got the scoop. <laughs> Two producers in the loop. We're live. We, we have, have so, so much, much more. more. Like our incredible, delicious popcorn Fridays. Oh, Fresh your sales goals or payroll. Here you go. All supported by IT. Ooh, me? We, we have, have so, so much, much more. more. Entertainment. Local content. Feel good segments. On time payment. And vacation to explore. Our 10,000 lakes and more. Hiking, biking, the Minnesota Vikings, baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey, Mall of America, mm. roller coasters, you know, concerts, sculptures, but, yeah. museums, Given state Given another theater. year or two. I, this is the thing. TV and used golfing. to be everything. It used to be the place everybody wanted to work. And now, I, what I think this is a promo for is to get people to come work there. Fox 9, we are a family of thinkers, creators, and doers. This is not is the she reason. The main anchor or is no, she we're, not, no. we're not sure who she is. She might be okay. like a local actress She's or a very something, good but singer. she sure is. But uh, the reason you should want to work there is to do, you know, good stories in journalism, not for free popcorn. Although some free popcorn around here <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be nice anything. once in a while. Yeah. Popcorn Friday was the best part of that whole thing. Uh. I bet they have it upstairs at Next Star <laughs> they do? News Nation. They actually do. They do. They have a popcorn machine, <laughs> I yeah. smell it every time they open the door, by the way. And a coffee bar. Oh, and great. Oh, yeah. great. No, it's a girl got to do for some popcorn yeah. Friday. Oh, great. I can smell right our there. Christmas uh, party <laughs> slipping away in the budget already. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for nothing. That's one way to. I'm just run upstairs and get some popcorn ourselves. They don't know what's where.